Hi, this is Stephen Blair from the Arnold team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set the render output with the AOV manager. So I already have a little test scene here set up. So um, I'm just going to add an AOV file and it's EXR. And then I'm just going to add these components to that. Actually, I have to select it, click add. I could also have dragged and dropped. Anyway, so now I have a file called AOVs and I have the basically the beauty itself and the different components of the beauty, the different sort of lighting passes, diffuse, specular, and so on. Uh, AOVs, that's the default name. I want to change that, so I double click. I'm just going to call it beauty. And so that's a new name for that. And you can see I've already set up some tokens here. So uh, if I was to render with this setup, um, what is that going to give me? Well, AOVs file type. The file type is EXR, frame. Uh, you can see maybe that's in frame I don't know, eight or nine. So it's going to be something like 0009. The AOV's file name is why I just type beauty. And the render file name, um, that comes from what I put in the render setup down here. I called it shader balls. Um, notice I have save file disabled. I'll talk about that later. Anyway, so if I was to render that with some log verbosity, I would see exactly what that gave me. So shader balls, oops, as I said, shader balls, the name of the AOV file, beauty, the frame number nine, and EXR extension. So that's what I've got set up here. Uh, so let's see if I go back to my render setup, you can actually see I've got a different uh, file folder uh, location on my S drive as opposed to the default C user Stephen Blair documents for ES Max 21, 2021 render output. So let's fix um, the output here to use what I've entered in the render setup. Uh, so that's pretty easy. I just have to, I'm just going to select this. I mean, there's a number of ways you can do it, but I'm going to select it and I'm going to replace it with the render folder token because I think that's what it's still, I should do. Uh, actually, I know, but when I first did it, I thought that probably is what I want. And then I just rendered to see what I would see in the Arnold log. Is it what I wanted? So I just have to scroll up a bit. Yeah, so there I have S Projects Max 2A render output, which is what I entered in the render setup. Same path. So that's how you use those four tokens. Um, you have to refer the documentation for the rest of them. Uh, yep. Also, I guess uh, while I'm looking at the log, I'll show you if I scroll up here, I can see all the AOVs that were being output by this render. Um, don't need to know that. Just, just you know, there's stuff in the log. Sometimes it's good to look at it. And as because I'm in support, I look at it all the time. Uh, but the writing file, I don't even have to look on disk. This tells me what it what it output. Uh, now going back to the render setup, so let me like that. Uh, you notice I have saved the file disabled. Um, that's because I didn't want a second version of the beauty being output. If I enable save the file, I'm gonna get the Arnold output but it'll ask you to have the exposure control from 3ds Max applied to it. So I would get a version of that beauty, uh, a version of the beauty with the exposure control applied. And then in my AOVs, I would have this version of the beauty without the exposure control. So basically the straight output of Arnold is what I get in the AOV. From the render setup, I would get a separate file that passes through 3ds Max and its ex exposure control. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.